Happy New Year, everybody. Welcome back. Today, uh, we're going to talk about our first lesson in Module 1. It's uh, unit rates. Last year, you talked a lot about unit rates, and uh, so today's lesson is going to be a, a lot of review. So um, these slides are available, but uh, you should have your math journal out or wherever you put all of your math notes. If you, uh, if you put those in the same spot, they'll be easy to find when you need them when you're working on your homework, quizzes, or tests. So you got your notes out. If you don't, uh, pause the video, go get your notes uh, or your notebook so that we are ready to go. A ratio is an ordered pair of numbers. Okay, so the ordered pair things tells you two things. There are two numbers, and first and second, second and first, matters. The order matters. So both of these numbers cannot be a zero, so you can't have zero, zero. Um, but, uh, but you've got your uh, ratio A to B indicates the order of the numbers. A is first, B is second. There are three ways to write a ratio. The ways to write the ratio are with a fraction so I, uh, if we have a 3 uh, to 5, or we can write it with a colon like we did uh, up above with the A to B, 3 to 5, or we can use the word 2, 3 to 5. Usually, we'd use the fraction way for almost all of our ratio writings, but with remote learning, the colon or the word 2 are, are going to be much easier to use, and, and they're going to be a little bit uh, more predominant in what we do. Now, the types of ratios are different than the ways to write them. All right. Say, for example, we had uh, we had five kids in the classroom who had hoodies, and then we had ten kids that uh, that did not have a hoodie on. Okay. So if we wanted to write a part to part ratio, we could go five hoodies to 10 no hoodies, or 10 no hoodies to five hoodies. Those are the parts, part to part. But if a kid either has a hoodie or doesn't, that means there are 15 kids in the class. And if there's 15 kids in the class, that means the whole class has 15. So the other types of ratios are part to whole. So maybe I would say there are five kids with hoodies compared to the whole class of 15. And there is whole to part. So I might say that there are 15 kids, 10 of those are not wearing hoodies. So what are your parts, are your types? Part to whole, part to part, part to whole, and whole to part. And the three ways are the fraction the colon, or the word two. Now, on your homework and what we do in the future, please make sure you know the difference between the three ways to write the ratio and the three types of ratios. Make sure that is clear in your notes. Now, you notice one way that we wrote fraction uh, ratios was as a fraction. So this eight to 24 could be eight over 24. The 4 to 12 could be 4 to 12. And you know, those two are equivalent fractions. If I take half of 8 and half of 12, uh, 24, I get 4 and 12. And instead of multiplying by 1 half, you may have thought divide by 2. The reason why I multiplied is because this says if you have two ratios that are equivalent, there's a non-zero number, okay? And that's what I did with the one half, so that if I took one number times a half and the other times a half, 
I would get the other two values. What this tells you, you can scale your ratios up or down by multiplying or dividing by the same value. So you notice 3 to 2 is equal to 6 to 4. Those are equivalent ratios. When I multiply by 2, I scale up. Doesn't just have to be multiplying or dividing by 2. Just like you make equivalent fractions, you can multiply or divide by any number you want because this is equal to 600 over 400 or 6,000 over 4,000. Pick a number. So equivalent ratios works very much like equivalent fractions. What's the difference? Ratios and frag uh, ratios could have fractions or decimals in the numerator or denominator. Can't do that with fractions. The fractions have to be whole numbers to start with. So a ratio relationship between two quantities, such as five miles per two hours, can be described as a rate. Okay, so five to two is equal to 2.5 miles per hour. Miles divided by hours. Now, you're gonna be asked to write a rate and provide a label. The label is the unit, the rate, right in front of it. The unit rate is found by dividing. So if I wanted to find the unit rate, 12 meters in three minutes, that's going to be 12 divided by three, that's four meters per minute. Meters divided by minutes. Let's make that clear. So the numerical part of the rate is called the unit rate, and it's the simple value of the ratio. So divide and you find it. 5 divided by 2, 2 and a half. The one hour for travel time gives you 2.5 miles in distance. MPH, of course, you know miles per hour. So if I have 420 customers in 20 days, take a moment, calculate the unit rate and label. Pause. All right. So you took 420 and you divided that by 20. So that gives you 21. 21 is the rate. Now, 20, uh, 420 divided by 20 was customers divided by days. So that's customers per day. So that all together is the unit rate. Okay, so unit rate, 21 customers per day. Now, sometimes you're gonna say unit rate is 21 or 21 customers per day. So I'll accept either one. Check with Mrs. Bolda and she will let you know what she expects. So again, find the fraction. Write it as a fraction is just like so. No dollar signs, no labels. Find the unit rate, do the dividing. So this is the fraction. The unit rate is whatever 1.2 divided by or 1.20 divided by 4 is. The unit rate is 0.3 or 30 cents. Okay? So, so this is the unit rate. And now we want to label. So this is the unit rate. And this is the label. The label is the dollars per pound. 
Okay, so you try 43 students and two teachers. Write it as a fraction, find the unit rate, and label it. Okay, so 43 over 2, that's the fraction. 43 divided by 2 is 21 and a half. That is the unit rate. And the label was students divided by teachers. So it's student per teacher. That's the label. So I hope we cleared up any inconsistencies or anything that was unsure about that. Fraction, unit rate, and label. First homework problem today, I ask, uh, or your first practice problem tomorrow, because we're flipping the classroom, will be finding a unit rate and writing a label. So, is your ratio of 11 boys to 10 girls, is that an equivalent ratio to 146 boys for 134 girls? Are these ratios equivalent? So, we can take 11 divided by 10, that's boys to girls, and 146 divided by 134, again, boys to girls, and we can find the unit rates and compare them. 11 divided by 10 is 1.1 boys for every one girl, and then 146 divided by 134 is 1.09, if I round that, boys per girl. So they are not equivalent because 1.1 is not equal to 1.09. Go back, rewind, rewatch. Um, make sure you make a note of any questions, and uh, Mrs. Bolda and I will be glad to answer those um, when we see you in class tomorrow. Have a great day.